Let's go up to Joe Bierman now in Chopper 2. He is flying live over the scene. And Joe, you've been on many of these breaking news situations. Tell us what you're looking at right now. What, are you, what kind of activity are you seeing? Well, this is the actual hospital, Bronx Lebanon Hospital Center. Now, as we all know, there was reports of a uh, gunman up on the 16th floor. Uh, we're hearing a lot of police chatter. We are hearing he may have gone up to the 17th floor. Now, one of the reasons why uh, we have to stand off so far, we're actually over the Hudson River, is he is reportedly armed with some sort of rifle, maybe an M16 type rifle. But as you can see, NYPD have gone to a level one mobilization, which will bring certainly well over 100 police officers to the scene. They have activated their active shooter uh, response teams. They're talking uh, responding with heavy weapons, uh, long guns. There are two NYPD helicopters. You just saw them fly through the shot, circling above the area. They do have a description of the shooter, uh, reportedly to be uh, a male. We understand there are maybe some uh, video surveillance. They're describing him as a male in a white, like doctor's lab coat. So it sounds like he uh, has on some sort of uh, medical gear. Last reported up on the 16th or 17th floor. No word yet on the number of people shot, but certainly a major incident here at the Bronx Lebanon Hospital up in the Bronx just off the concourse. Concourse is completely closed. All the surrounding streets are closed. You can see all the ambulances lining up. Still officers uh, responding, EMS technicians responding. Again, they are calling this an active shooter situation. Many times they use that phrase. We've heard that phrase has become a common phrase in the uh, police jargon and also the media phrase. But this definitely sounds like an active shooter situation meaning that there is someone in the hospital or someone in the building with a weapon. Now we're starting to see some police officers. We're going to kind of not zoom in on them to give away their position, but they are up on the rooftops. They have completely surrounded the Bronx Lebanon Hospital Center. The hospital is confirming it has been locked down. Now one of the problems with NYPD, they're going to have to go floor by floor and search for the gunman. There was one confirmed report that that gunman may have been wounded uh, but again there is so much information that floats in the uh, cyber area of uh, being unconfirmed but again 1615 Grand Concourse it's the concourse just south of the, the uh, Cross Bronx Expressway uh, an active shooter police are confirming several people shot haven't given us a uh, total number yet but apparently a man in a uh, white lab coat or doctor's coat opened fire with some sort of what they are saying rifle or long gun or semi-automatic weapon uh, i've heard two descriptions of the weapon an m16 or uh, an ar uh, assault rifle uh, nypd has geared up very heavily, the uh, officers are going to have to go into that hospital and search for that active shooter and get him pinned down and then try and take him into custody, as well as try and take out uh, anybody who has been injured inside the hospital. Uh, kind of ironic to, to try and take the injured people out of the hospital. Looks like a lot of civilians evacuating the hospital there. Once police officers uh, have identified good guy, bad guy. They will try and get people from uh, inside the hospital, outside, so it makes it easier for the police to potentially see anyone moving. I'm sure they are looking at video cameras inside that hospital. We'll let keep you updated as the story develops. Back to you.